What's up guys and welcome back to Dealer Simulator. It's a brand new day and it's a great day to get that money. We are about to make the biggest deal that we have yet. We have 250 grams of that pure blue crystal going to Keji here and uh, it's actually gonna work this time. So you guys know, end of the last episode, it was glitched, we couldn't figure it out. Well, the devs have patched it, it was a glitch and uh, you can actually make it happen now. Now, in the meantime, I did get this bad boy right here. We bought this from the pharmacy. It's a 150 gram metal container here. So that enabled us to put a ton of crystal in there, and then we actually split it up into five 50 gram bags now, which is uh, is, is exciting. That's exactly what they were asking for, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't know if they'd be sticklers about that. I don't know if potentially they would deny you if you gave it to them in 200 pound and 150 pound bags, but we're just gonna do exactly what they asked. We're gonna be kind, we're gonna be uh, fluid, and uh, we're, we're gonna be their, their best customer best partner yet. So uh, one other thing I figured out, thanks to you guys down in the comments, is you can throw your bag over some of the fences. I found this spot right here. You guys can see there's a bit of an incline next to this. So I go here, I look up, I jump and I hold B and look at that, threw that bad boy right over the fence. That way we're gonna be able to go through the checkpoint we're not gonna have any bad stuff on us, and uh, we can move product over the border without paying 250 bucks to that construction worker each time, which is pretty good. I know uh, there's there's a couple other spots. Obviously, a wall like this, you aren't gonna be able to throw it over, but I think there are a few, maybe one by the gas station. There's like a small chain link fence. You can throw it over there. So it's, obviously, you wanna figure out those spots depending on where you want to go over on the uh, the other side. Okay. I used this far right one this time because we want to go to the top right to be able to drop this stuff off. So we're just gonna, gonna swing back by this parking lot. Your boy is clean as a whistle right now. I have nothing to worry about. We're just gonna be able to come right back here right next to these big shipping containers and voila, look at that, found a backpack. So fresh and so clean, baby. Now we got our work on the other side. We didn't have to spend any money and we are gonna head up to the drop off point. That, uh, that Keji's marked. So you guys know that that box thing that we it, we tried like leaving stuff on top of it yesterday and all kinds of weird stuff. Dude, I, I sat here after the episode and messed around with it for like an hour and a half because I, I, I really didn't want to, to, to get stuck at this spot. But like I said, it turns out that it was a uh, it was a total glitch. Now when you walk up to it, you can open up the dead drop. We're gonna drop off the 250 Gs in there and we are gonna head back home. Look at that, 500 XP. Now we need to go back and contact Tom to meet to finalize the deal. Coming back home here, we are gonna hop on the computer and hit up Tom. Dude, I'm so excited this is working. I was worried we were gonna be stuck there, but Tom Pellet, what's up, man? Can your boy get a meeting? Can we meet? Yeah, we got the package, good job. Come meet me and collect the cash. Don't bring a bag, we'll give you a suitcase. We're gonna go get a suitcase full of cash, bro. Are you kidding me? Let me go ahead and uh, and drop this backpack off. And uh, man, that's that's what I'm talking about. You know, we think about where we started. Little little dime bags. You know, little things. We were doing little little deals for like ten bucks at a time. Now we're getting Sir, suitcases full of money, bro. I'm I'm excited about this. You go ahead and feel me up. Do whatever you gotta do, bro. I know you really like me. I know you think I'm cute. Every time I come through here, you're always trying to grab a piece. That's all right. You do you. It's 2020. I'm not judging. Let me go. Uh, let me go make my my money here. Uh, since this is the start of a uh, an exciting new business relationship, what's up, man? How you doing? I'll give you a little bow. All right, homie. What's up, Keji? You know I delivered. He's over here still chopping up some sushi or whatever he's doing. At least he has a knife this time. You want me to sit down? Where, where's the briefcase at? Where's my money? Oh shoot, we're not supposed to meet in here. All right, my bad. My bad, y'all. All right, I'm out. This sketchy guy over here, this is the one we're supposed to meet. Okay, there's the briefcase. What's up, Tom? You taking the suitcase or not? Sure thing. Let me pick it up. I guess you're not much of a talker, huh? You're just gonna go walk into that cactus. All right. How much is in this, bro? $2,750 like that. Just instant money. That PayPal instant transfer, bro. I love that. All the rest of our dealers, we have to front them stuff and then later on we gotta go out, we gotta meet them and it's just this whole big deal. But these guys, they pay up front, baby. We, we, we drop the stuff off, they're immediately willing to pay. That is pretty amazing. So we're gonna go on back through here. We're gonna get back home and uh, man, we're, we're definitely gonna start making quite a bit of money through this. 
I think it's about time we're gonna have to start laundering some of it, get it legit into our bank account, and right. uh, we can we can potentially start you know buying some fun stuff, buying some stuff to decorate the apartments and such. But um, I'm gonna go back. We can't let this get to our head. We gotta keep grinding. We gotta keep doing our thing. We gotta keep moving that dope like Pablo, and uh, we're we're gonna see what we can do. So I'm just uh, can we can we just drop the drop the briefcase? Look at that duffel bag full of money right there. Call me duffel bag boy. That's an old, old, old song. I don't know if some of you guys might remember that. Uh, okay, man, we need to meet. 40 G of Colombian available. Confirm it. You know it, brother. I'm also, I gotta go pay off Eddie. We owe him $3,390. We should have enough for that. We just entered a, uh, a whole new ball game, dude. Like this, this is, this is groundbreaking for sure. I think our dealer, oh shoot, he's over here on the, on the street. You gotta be careful, bro. I don't, I don't know if I like being out here. You can meet back behind the building. But here you go. Here's your 40 G's. Got to front it. She's gonna have to have to bring it back to us later. That's what I don't like, dude. Like it, it's gonna take a couple days for her to be able to offload that. Whereas our boys, they pay up front. So we're gonna go pay Eddie off. We're gonna make a new order. We're just gonna keep on doing our thing, <laughs> bro. Give me 148 G's of that yayo, my guy. Seeing us come up from the bottom and now we're here is is pretty cool. And I think there's still. A long way to go, you know what I mean? So, uh, all right, that's gonna be ready in three hours. We're gonna have to wait on that. In the meantime, it looks like we've got a ton of individual deals. We could end up going around and doing some spray painting. Uh, I'm really hoping some of our dealers order some more stuff. And then we're also, I mean, I'm always down to do some, some stuff with Tom. We just need to wait for him to hit us up. Yeah, we can't we can't request anything from him or ask if he wants more. He's gonna have to hit us up at some point. So we're just gonna keep on grinding. We're gonna keep on doing our thing. I guess we'll take a six here. We'll take a five there. Uh, kennel, I don't really want to do right now, but I guess I guess we have to. Three, so six, five, three, two. Uh, these other ones are on the other side of the border, so we'll do those next. Six, five, three, two. Being as big as we are now, being outside, this is kind of a, a dumb risk that we don't necessarily need. Where are these people? Back here? Okay, I, I like it. That's actually a pretty good spot. I respect it. I couldn't even find you. You're looking for the five, so we're gonna give you one of the threes. We're gonna give you one of the twos, and then we gotta look for uh, for Seba, which is gonna be over near the furniture shop. Um, but yeah, it's 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 kind of sketchy. Like we, I, I don't think the the reward is worth the risk here for us to be out. But at the same time, I mean. It's a video game and we, we kind of, we need to keep uh, keep our respect up. Otherwise, we're going to stop getting buyers. Our dealers aren't going to have anybody they're going to be able to sell to, stuff like that. I think I'm going to look for a spot in the fence. I know I, I saw a comment from one of you that said there was a spot kind of close to the gas station. So I'm, I'm looking for a new spot right now. Were you, oh, there's, this is the police station. I don't feel like that's a very good idea. We're trying to get to the other side. Uh, there's, there's six people who have orders for that yayo that the North is starting to realize what we're made of and, and what we're producing over here. <laughs> but it's all two gram orders. There's literally no, like nothing, nothing exciting about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Looking for a spot to toss our bag over. I mean, this, this kind of, oh, I hope we can get it over there. I really, really do. We're, we're going to find out. There's like that little little space in the wall where it dips down. Are we gonna be able to get back there? Move, What's up, my guy? I think it's gonna be right back there. We're gonna pick it up right next to him. We're walking through without a backpack. We walk around the corner, come back out with a backpack. I mean, okay. just Perfect. just a, a little bit sketchy. Let me see if I can get back here. Hello, beautiful. All right, now we gotta figure out how we're gonna get by this guy without him potentially searching us again. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna be okay. Oh, somebody died here. I haven't noticed that before. All right, let's be smart about this. We are literally an eye and ear shot of that guy. So we're gonna give her one set of two. We've got two people over here, one guy over there. I'm sure there's no cops around. Looks like we're good to go. What's up, my man? How you doing, Matthew? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Hopefully I just made it a little bit better for you, brother. All right, now we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna see if we can uh, if we can throw it back over the opposite way. You gotta be careful, because these, these uh, the border guards, it's less likely, I feel like, but they can walk away from the border and, and come say what's up and search you just for, for walking by them, like the normal guards do. Don't mind me, bro, nothing, nothing sketchy here. I'm just gonna go take a leak back in this corner. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. 
Oh, okay. This is this. Oh no. There it is. Kobe. Just gonna go ahead and uh, and cross through here. I'm clean, sir. Don't worry about me. Hop this wall here. And uh, ooh, that thing had some distance on it. We'll take it. All right, beautiful work. So I think uh, I think we're just gonna keep on doing this, man. We're gonna try to make some more money. We actually have quite a bit of money saved up right now, so we'll probably do a few more runs. See if we have a couple dealers that drop off some cash and stuff. And uh, then I think it's time to launder a bit of money and let's let's get our other hideout set up a little bit better. Looks like our drop ended up in the uh, in the cemetery. This is just a, a little bit creepy. Look at the the praying angel here. Oh my goodness. All right, where, where'd you hide it? It's in one of these trash cans, I think. Woo. Woo. We can't even fit that. Okay, this 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 is gonna be an issue. Dropped it off in our little apartment back there. I really do, I wanna make that thing a little bit nicer. The other thing is, is when you add furniture and stuff, you can actually, uh, it, it enables, the, the time travel gets quicker. Like, a, a, the nicer bed you have makes time travel by faster when you're in the time travel mode that kind of like speeds it up. So that way, you know, if we're on this side of the border and we don't really have any good deals or anything, we can just kind of speed up time, uh, get it to go by quicker, and, and, and just keep keep our workflow a little bit better is our, uh, our plan here. So we dropped off the cash in the first set, the first, like, 48 grams of Coke over there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and throw throw this 100, 100 grams back over. I think it, it's going to do more work for us on this side of the, uh, this side of the tracks. You really got to... You gotta be like back and you really gotta aim up. Nope. Come on. Get over that wall, dude. Let's go. Get there. There it is. All right there, white boy. We need a new delivery. Crystal meth as usual, 180 G, sorted in 20 gram packs, nine pieces. So he's got a smaller order this time around. You know what? I don't really appreciate that, Tom. I, I like the big orders. I don't wanna do this small foo foo stuff, but sounds good, man. Um, we're, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that. Is his drop in the same spot? Oh no, it's, it's gonna be in a different spot this time, over here. Head on over here. I think there's a way, we can buy the pit coins or whatever, and we could start paying him online rather than doing these cash deliveries, which is obviously a lot safer, and I, I think it's something that we probably need to start thinking about setting up. It would just be more streamlined. We'd, we'd be able to, to, you know, quickly make things happen rather than running across town and, and crossing borders and everything like that. We just, we really need to get a computer and the second, uh, the second home, which I think is going to be our next move. So now we're going to get online. How many, how many grams did he want? 180 grams. So I'm going to talk to Eddie. We're going to make a new order. We're going to get that, uh, that crystal. We're going to do 180, which is small, small time, bro. 1,620 value there, and then we're gonna do the rest in our uh, in our white stuff. So I, I have no clue. Are we gonna be able to do like 75? Close. Are we gonna be able to do 82? I think is gonna be our, our max limit. Yeah. All right. 180 grams of crystal and 82 grams of that pure white snow, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're gonna wait for that delivery. We've got $980 cash. See, if we launder it, that's not going to be enough. We're not going to, the, the computer is $800. You need eight, well, actually, let me, let me see what's in our current, our current bank account. Um, log into our bank account here. We've got $295, so actually, it might be enough. Let me, let me see what happens. Let's, let's hit up our boy, uh, Gerard Francier. We're going to go ahead and ask for a meeting. How about we meet and do a little bit of, a little bit of business, my guy? Sure, I'll be waiting for you. All right, where is he going to be? I think he's... Gerard's up here next to this ATM. All right, I'm down. Let's uh, let's do it. We might even be able to make a small deposit. I'll put like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks in the ATM, something like that. Something legit. Don't want to make it look sketchy, but we haven't deposited in a while. Let me stop by this ATM right quick. Do you guys think two hundred is too much? Oh man, I I'm I'm gonna say two hundred. I really hope that's not too much. I don't know what a lot is in this game, you know what I mean? So that's that's gonna help us out for sure. What's up, Gerard? You got the cash for me? Here it is. I'm gonna give him all of our cash right now. Go ahead and do that, beautiful. Is that, is it instantly? I like that he's in a suit, bro. He, he looks respectable. He looks like a real businessman. I think we can trust him. I, I don't know if it's instantly gonna transfer or what. We're gonna, we're gonna go back and check it out. Up on the laptop here, see what we got going on. So Eddie hit us up uh, two hours and 55 minutes. 
Tom, I already got you. Looks like one of our dealers has a cash delivery. Dang it, that would have been perfect before we just laundered all that stuff. But um, that's all right, man. Let me, hold on, let me check my bank account. Are we, are we good to go here? Log into our bank. It's instantly in there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. My guy is, uh, he's, he's trustworthy, he's quick, he's professional, and he doesn't charge too much. I mean, he takes a 40% cut for us to be able to have that legit money in our bank account. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty well worth it. So now we're gonna go over, let's collect this cash from our dealer, and then we're gonna go to the furniture store. We're gonna buy ourselves a nice little laptop. Donald, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. I'm, I'm trying to buy some products. So you guys can see, this is the furniture shop. The, the nicer furniture you get, like this $350 bed, it gives you plus six speed weight multiplier. Plus four for this couch, plus three for the armchair. You can get cupboards, you can get shelves, you can get all kinds of things to be able to store. Secret containers that can be placed in walls. Actually, that's not a bad idea because if we ever got raided, I bet they wouldn't find that. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We are gonna buy ourselves a brand new laptop for $800. Let's go ahead and uh, and pay it out of our legit money in our bank account. And uh, we are gonna go ahead and send it to the small warehouse. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I'm so excited about that. Now we're actually gonna be able to run business from that side. We're not gonna have to be flip-flopping back and forth all the time, so. Things to look it up. I guess now we're just gonna run some some small deals and do what we've gotta do until, uh, until old, old Eddie hits us back that we've got a dead drop that we can Bring to Tom. All right, we got our dead drop good to go. It's gonna be somewhere over here, I think. Somewhere in this area. Nope, it's back this way. Ah, right here in the vent. Gotta be. All right, let's go ahead and move all this stuff over. Dude, this is so ridiculous. Are we gonna be able to fit that? No, nope, we can't fit that, so we're gonna have to put it in our pockets. All right, we got everything. Beautiful work. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and quickly drop this off at the house. And we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to sort it up. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop our bag full of coke right there. We're gonna bring this stuff in, let's put it in the jar, it's that, that good old blue stuff. And now we're gonna package up, we've gotta get, uh, nine 20 gram packs, I think is what he wanted. So we're just, we're gonna do these 20 gram packs, but the problem is, shoot, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think we can, we can't hold those if we don't, if we don't have a backpack on. Wait, didn't... Didn't we bring a backpack? Yes, we brought a backpack to this place. Perfect. All right, so we've got our Coke backpack and we've got our meth backpack. Sounds good to me. Now we're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to package up uh, 20 grams at a time. Two of them, add them to our inventory. Then we're going to move this stuff over. Package this up as well. Two of the 20s. And we've got to do this to get nine in total. Let's go drop this off. So I know it's a new a new drop. Looks like we're gonna be putting it here this time, back behind this this L building. So we're gonna we're gonna get past the next street and it's gonna be there. This is uh this is all pretty exciting, that's for sure. Just wanna watch out. Definitely don't definitely don't want to run into any police trouble here. I'm gonna go ahead and hop this fence. I'm always worried when I hop a fence like that, they're gonna be right next to us. But I think it's gonna be back behind these garages here or something. Right here, open up the dead drop. All right, nine of them, drop it off. Got some XP out of that. We're gonna go back. We should have a laptop in this apartment now, so we should be able to contact Tom right away. And um, I don't know, should be able to keep moving forward. So let me go in here. I actually, I didn't even see our laptop in here. Does it put it on the ground? Where does it put it? It doesn't put it in there. Oh, I'm gonna be mad, dude. Where's the laptop go? Oh, hold space for furniture mode. Maybe it's not instant delivery. Maybe we don't have Amazon Prime. I'm not sure, but it's it's definitely, there's 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 no furniture for us to be able to place. So we're gonna take this, this backpack off, get our, our Coke backpack back on, go ahead and shut off the lights. Nobody's home, don't come, don't come a knocking, don't come a looking around there. And uh, we are gonna go, uh, we're gonna go try to, to get back across. Obviously, all of our stuff is over on the other side. We really want to uh, to spend the evening over there. I'm just gonna grind this evening. We're just gonna keep doing more drops. We're gonna pay off Eddie. We're gonna do do the whole nine. And uh, 
I guess, uh, I guess if anything, if nothing interesting happens, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It's a beautiful new morning in the neighborhood. It is, uh, 7.25 a.m. on Saturday. Your boy likes to get up at the crack of dawn and, uh, and get to work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and collect the cash. I appreciate the suitcase, my man. I mean, you guys could just give me the cash. There's no reason for you to continue buying these suitcases, but I guess I'll take it. Makes us look a little bit more legit. And uh, that's gonna wrap up our second uh, meeting and uh, and little ordeal with the uh, with the yakuza there. So I'm gonna come back here since it's a new morning. I didn't see any deliveries outside, but are we gonna have any furniture? We aren't. Part of me is wondering if this is a glitch. You guys know we have encountered a couple of glitches with this game. It's to be expected, I guess you could say. Uh, also, maybe we don't have like the right desk to be able to place it on. Maybe there's no space on this desk, so it's not showing it to us. I went back and double checked the footage. We definitely sent it to this address. I mean, here, let's let's go outside. I'm I'm gonna seriously look around outside. Is there like a dead drop or something that they'll drop this stuff? I don't think so. Yeah, I think uh, I think we. I think we just kind of got screwed. I don't know. I, I'll mess with the... It's not in either of these cabinets here. It's just... It's it's not really not really working out for us. So, interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know what to think. Uh, I'm going to keep messing with that for sure. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get to the bottom of that. Obviously, you know, being able to run our business from from two different sides of the, the border is going to be important. So, it's something we're going to have to fix eventually. We could come in and... and and take it out on Donald, dude. We need a nice, you know, pillowcase with a lock in it or something. To really teach this guy a lesson. I'm trying to see. See, there's industrial desks, tables. I was trying to see if there's going to be any sort of like a, a computer desk or something like that. Um, I mean, the computer's still... The, there were two of them. Now there's one. So we, it definitely sold. It's definitely supposed to be ours. Hopefully it's something that maybe it just takes a couple days to deliver or something like that. I mean, we could test it out. We've got 113 in our bank account. We actually, we can't test anything out. We can't, I guess we could buy a cabinet. We could buy a basic couch. Do we want to buy the basic couch plus four? This, this gives us, this gives us plus two. I mean... I'm not gonna waste any money right now on stuff we don't actually want, but I was thinking we could order something else and see if it shows up immediately. I'll, I'll mess around with it. I'll definitely try to figure it out and we should have it fixed by the next episode. You know, sometimes you've gotta look at what you have in life and really appreciate all the hard work that you've put in and, and just kind of take a tally of where you're at. You know what I mean? Just kind of pat yourself on the back a little bit. Look at our current holdings right here. Dude, this is obnoxious. So we have 27 grams in here. These are two kilos, 100 gram packs right there. We've also got 250. So that's just, that's 300 grams right there by itself. Bunch of, uh, a 17, bunch of 10s, and then a seven down there at the end. Dude, things honestly are starting to get a little bit out of hand. I can hear the cops outside the window where they go. If only they knew what was happening in here, bro. This, honestly, like I, I'm excited, but it also makes me nervous. And the thing is, is all of this is free and clear paid off. This is all ours. So you think about it. How much do we have here? 391 grams of cocaine. And what, what do we sell it for? I actually, I think we might be able to, to bump our prices a little bit. I've been really working the areas around our, uh, around our, our, our house just so we can kind of get more sales and, and bump our numbers up. You guys can see our prices are good. We actually have a little bit of room. Can we... Can we bump this to 60 a gram? That's that's a little bit too much. Should we keep it at 59? I want to keep it so it's not maxed out. I don't want to be ripping people off and have people upset. So uh, we could sell this at $59 a gram. 391 grams times the $59 that we charge per gram. $23,069. You gotta love that, bro. That is insane. I want to kind of get a little scientific with it and see if we can actually figure out a good mix that doesn't kill people like our, our washing clothes powder did. So, uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We've got 38 grams going to Johnny. So, uh, do we have, we don't have 38 grams in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this as organized as possible. We're gonna fill it up 
from the far side. Eventually, we're just gonna have just straight bricks lining this entire desk. It's gonna be pretty exciting. 38 grams, he's gotta make it make it complicated, huh? We're gonna go three tens, and then we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do four twos. That way we only have to drag things across twice, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go drop this off. Heading over to East Old Town, we'll see what he's up to. I think he's gonna be back here. This dude usually likes to meet back in the back somewhere. Maybe not, oh, nope, yep. He's right around this corner. What up, Johnny? How you doing, bro? You've been with us since the start. I uh, I appreciate you. Looks like we've got some respect dropping in some areas. Honestly, it's impossible to keep everything up all the time. So we, we gotta focus on the areas that matter to us and just, uh, just kind of keep expanding. I think all the areas next to our safe houses are gonna be the ones that we really wanna wanna kind of focus on. But, uh, dude, this is crazy. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll pick up some free spray paint. Um, man, I, the 23 grand in product, like, I, I feel like that's an insane amount, especially if you consider how many, like, days we've been at this in this game. Technically, it's only been, like, what, four or five days, maybe six or seven, maybe a week, I'm not sure. So we made 23 grand in a week. That that actually does sound pretty good, but at the same time, you got to think about how much work and how much risk went into that. I've been, just my head is spinning with this series, dude. I've been doing some research and stuff. I really want to watch Narcos. I haven't watched it yet. But I was looking at it last night, and I was reading an article about it, and the, the average wage for a drug dealer is actually below minimum wage. So it's, it's the guys up top that kind of make the most of it, and obviously you guys have seen, once we started doing these big deals, that's when you made money. When we were doing it for like little 2 and $3 profits, you don't really get much. So it's, it's interesting. We're an entrepreneur in our own way. I am by no means saying that this is a profession that any of you should ever even consider because you absolutely shouldn't. But uh, it's just kind of interesting to think about. So I think that's a uh, that's a good spot to stop it. Uh, where are we at here overall? I mean, we, we've got some more locations we need to unlock. So we need to do some, some spray painting and stuff like that in the dead towns to be able to unlock uh, East Dead Town as well as Bad Asia. Uh, in terms of our actual product options, we could check out the big old H next. We could see what we're going to be able to do with that. I mean, that, that could be interesting because obviously it, it's not going to be as expensive or have as big of a profit margin as our, our Yayo does, but uh, it is going to be a lot more more addicting so we might have more sales overall and then we have a final thing that we're gonna unlock at level 25 which we are almost to 24 so that's that's a couple episodes away so hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think down in the comments drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next episode